Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, firstly, uh, thanks to Ronnie uh, for the invitation to come down into the change rooms. It's, a, it's always a privilege to come into the Australian cricket team change rooms, as I'm sure everyone in here understands. Um, we started the journey together. I remember a game out here, South Africa T20 game. Um, I didn't really know who you were or what you could do. I'd seen a couple of games on TV, but it was pretty evident straight away when I was at one end, not being able to hit it off the square, and you're at the other end, sending Dale staying into the stands, that there was a, a very, very good international cricketer about to burst onto the scene. So I was grateful to be around for that. I was great to be grateful to be around for your first test match. And, the, and to play a few games with you has been awesome, and now to be working with you still as a coach uh, in the IPL is a, is a great thrill. Um, one thing I don't think spoken about enough in our game is longevity. Um, thinking back to some of the great teams and players I played with, it was not so much about how many runs or how many hundreds, it was about wins and it was about longevity. And for you to be able to play 100 test matches at the top of the order um, you know, and reeling off 2,500s and 8,000 runs speaks volumes of you as a person and as a player, but also speaks volumes of, of the support system that you've had around you as well. And probably nothing, nothing more evident um, for me with that than what's happened over the last, last few months. Uh, there's been a bit of negativity around you and you know, not getting as many runs as you would like, but I think from everyone inside here, and I will say the same thing, I don't think there's ever been any shadow of doubt at all that when an opportunity like this would come, that you would rise to the top and you would play the way that David Warner plays, which thinking back right through your career from the first day into what I saw uh, on Boxing Day, Nothing has ever changed. Uh, you know, I said in, in commentary, I knew you'd come out throwing punches. I knew you'd be the David Warner that we all have loved and watched uh, and, and admired, more importantly, over a long period of time. Uh, and to do it on the biggest stage when it mattered most. And to play, I think, probably one of your best test, test match innings speaks volume for you as a person. And as I said, the support that everyone inside these walls has given. Um, congratulations, it's an, it's an amazing achievement. Uh, and what you've just showed over the last couple of days, as far as I'm concerned, there's no reason why it can't be for another 12 months or two years if you, if you want to do it. But uh, no, congratulations, mate. I'm, I'm ultra proud of you. I rang you before the game started that day and I said, look, whatever happens, just understand that for 10 or 12 years, you've made a lot of people very proud. The way that you've played, the way you've gone about it, and I'm one of them. And I, I wish that I would have been able to play more cricket with you because you're the sort of person that I wanted in my team. I'm sure all these guys here would say the same. You're the sort of person that they want in the trenches. So well done, well played, and enjoy the evening. Too often I'm stumped for words, but um, Rick, that's uh, obviously thanks to Torch and Kath who probably organised Ricky to come in and present me this. Um, you know, it means a lot to play 100 test matches. Um, obviously, I was there when Gaz played his uh, 100th test as well. Obviously, there's a short list of people who have done it, but you know, without family and, and, and friends to get you through the hard times, and they're along the journey with you. And I've, I've, I've said that all week. Um, there is tough times, there's highs, there's lows, but you guys ride it all with us. And as you can see here today, every single one of you that have come down here and supported all us players and staff, it means, it means the world to us. Um, so thank you all. Um, and punt, um, you know, I idolised you as a kid. I was grateful to, to come into this change room and, and, and play with you at my first, uh, my first ever game. Um, I, know, I know coming into the change room there was, I, I didn't know what to expect, I didn't know where to sit, I didn't know what to do. Um, but to share the dressing room with you and um, all the greats of the, the game that I've managed to play with, mate, it's been it's been awesome. And I know you said I've probably got another probably 12 months, two years to go, but um, we're almost there at Delhi, mate. So uh, I'll get through these next couple of test matches in India, and then we'll get back on the gravy chain. But uh, thank you, mate. I really appreciate it. Uh, cheers, everyone.